everybody, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and we are going to walk you through the process of making our pear pies. Uh, every year, my dad's neighbor, he's got this awesome pear tree. Their kefir pears are super hard and um, he lets us basically take all we want. We usually bring him a pie or two uh, to repay him, but we get to make up a bunch of pies to freeze for the year and enjoy all year long. So we actually had two pies left in the freezer from last year. We had one yesterday. We're going to have another one today. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so here we go. So here we've got a big giant basket full of pears. And then we've also got a bunch laid out on the countertop that we're getting ready to clean up before we get started. Okay, so we are using kefir pears, which is the type of pear tree that my dad's neighbor has. And they, the good thing about kefir pears, they are definitely a cooking pear. They are hard. I mean, you could take somebody out. <laughs> it's like as hard as a baseball. You could knock somebody out with this thing. Um, but what makes these awesome for baking with and creating pies is that even after cooking and freezing and all of the wear and tear that goes into making these pies, they keep a really nice texture, uh, kind of like a crunch almost even in the pie. Whereas apple pies, you know, the apples get kind of mushy and soft, which is nice. Uh, the, the difference is that in these pies, those pears are going to maintain a nice, um, not hard texture, but a lot crisper texture in the pie. So it makes it really, I don't know, just the mixture of the flaky crust and the kind of gooey filling once that um, sugar and flour gets together and gets all mushy. And then the crunch of the pear. And then the, if you put ice cream on it, the melty goodness of the ice cream. It's just all these yummy flavors and textures all rolled into one. <laughs> Look, that sounded so uh, <laughs> cooking channel. <laughs> I wanted to show you what a bruise looks like on one of these pears. <clears throat> it's not like a typical pear where if it gets bruised, it gets all like brown and smooshed. It looks like that. So this is a soft spot. Isn't that interesting? So I'll cut that out. You know, if, if the pear has too many of them, I just don't even bother. But that's, you know, small enough area, I'll cut it right out and then go on and peel it. I'm going to lower the camera down so that you can see what's happening here <clears throat> and how cool and quick it is. Okay, let me show you how it works. You take the pear, you put it on the big spike that's on the back end, like so. You line it up as best you can with the coring mechanism. And then this slides the slicer part into place. And then you start her up slow. And then you can just take this off the core, and then you're ready for the next pair. How fast is that? Oh my gosh. All right, here it is from this angle. Okay, so here's the things that I use when I make the pear pies. I go off of a couple different recipes and I'm just going to kind of combine them to make my own. Um, I don't make my own pie crust. Um, that may be cheating in some people's eyes, but whatever. I get the rollout ones. Um, it's best to keep them chilled when you are prepping everything because it makes them a lot easier to manage when they're colder. The warmer they get, the tackier they get. So that's going back in the fridge refrigerator. I love my kitchen, but one thing about it is dark. So I'm trying to get as much light in here as I can for you. All right, let me show you what we got. All right, so here you can see this is our sugar, flour, salt, cinnamon, and lemon zest. After the pie is all constructed, before we put the top of the pie on, we'll add a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of lemon juice just to kind of keep the fruit fresh 
and yummy. Once you've got your pear sliced up and your mixture in the bowl, what you'll do is you'll layer one layer of pie uh, pear slices and then you'll sprinkle in some of the mixture on top. This is the flour sugar cinnamon mixture. And then you will layer in another layer of pears. All right, once you've got another layer down, you take your mixture and you put some more in. And then another layer of pears on top of that. Okay, then another layer. And you keep going like this until you get to the top of the pie or if you like it going over a bit. I'll put on a little bit more. And then the last of it goes on top. Once you've got it all the way layered, then you take your tablespoon of butter and you're going to just slice off bits uh, or chunks to put around. It's about a tablespoon. And this will get all melty when you cook it to melt all the yummy stuff together. Chunk, chunk. Okay, so at the end you put in your butter and your lemon juice. And you are ready for the top of the pie. Like I said, I use the rollout kind. Okay, so you get the top part of the pie crust, and then you can get fancy with it, or you can just roll it over and, you know, fork it down if you like. I'm just going to roll it over to give you the idea. All right, there we go. And you can go back if you want with a fork and press down. Make sure to cut some slits for the steam to escape. And then you are ready. <laughs> and then you are ready to either bake it or freeze it. I could have put in some more pears, but oh well. All right, ta-da! Okay, so when I freeze my pies, what I do is I get a freezer bag, right, pear pie, and then the day's, today's date is like nine. What is it? No, I know, but what day is it? I don't know. That Let's out. say nine, six. <laughs> Fifteen, it, it, you know, because it's September, so. Sorry. And then what I'll do is I'm going to put this in the freezer like this, but... I'm not going to leave it as is. Once it is frozen, once it's frozen, I'm gonna take this uh, aluminum foil um, tray off so that it'll stay as it is in the freezer bag. And when I'm ready to bake it, I can take one of these and put it in there frozen to thaw out to bake. So yeah, I don't keep it in there all the time with that in case there's any weird tastes or whatnot. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the pear pie video. Like I said, I make these every year. I freeze, so far I've got 11 pies in the freezer right now, but they're great to pull out when, you know, on holidays, when we have family visiting, or say a friend has a baby or is sick. They're just really great to have all year long. Um, I'm a firm believer in using what you've got, and this is just another example of it. Here is a lovely picture a friend of mine, Christina, took of the pie that I sent home with them that they ate for lunch one day with ice cream and coffee. So enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. You guys make sure to go out and enjoy yourselves. I'll talk to you later. Bye.